Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another third party figure review. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the Woo Toys Comics legend, aka of course Stan Lee himself. Now this figure is in stock right now with Philip Liu from Toys Wonderland HK. If you'd like to pick up your very own, the link down in the description below will lead you over to Philip's website and you can check out the Stan Lee and also any of the Endgame or Spider-Man Far From Home pre-orders. As I said, link down in the description below. Now of course, upon Stan Lee's passing, the price for the Hot Toys figure absolutely went through the roof and Woo Toys answered the call and they're putting out, in my opinion, a more sort of definitive version of Stan Lee. He comes with so many accessories. He comes with two outfits, two pairs of glasses. This, as I said, in my opinion, is the definitive version of Stan Lee. Now, whether or not the head sculpt is up to par in terms of the quality of the Hot Toys release, we'll have to wait and see. And don't worry, we'll be comparing it to the latest and greatest that Hot Toys has to offer, being their astronaut version of Stan Lee with a more updated paint job, just to see how this version compares. Either way, what we're going to do now is get all of Stan's accessories out here and take a look at everything he comes with. Now, as you can see, Stan Lee does come with a fair amount of accessories. There are a couple of notable omissions, though, and we'll get to that after we've finished looking at all these awesome pieces. Now, the first piece I want to take a look at is this really awesome frame sort of artistic sketch of Stan Lee himself. As you can see, it's in a nice sort of thick black frame. It's a really heavy duty, nicely made piece. I did mistakenly say that I thought this was glass in the front here. I was just tapping it and hearing a really solid sound. It's actually just the backboard. There is no glass panel on the front. I was a little bit misled, but it still does look really awesome. It's a really nice piece to have just displayed alongside Stan Lee himself. Now, in terms of the little markers he does come with, you can see he comes with a blue, yellow, and green, then a red sort of style, just regular pencil, and then a little black pen as well, if you want to have him signing autographs. And if you do want to have him signing autographs, he comes with these pieces right here, which are totally awesome. So he comes with a couple of little sketches of sort of stick people with anatomy, as you can see these two right here couple of blank or a few I should say blank comic panels then this one right here with a couple of horses and more people speech bubbles these are totally awesome I love these little pieces you can have him sketching away that is absolutely awesome then he comes with three time magazines as well now they are blank on the inside but they do have Stan Lee on the front and the back and of course it says comics legend so they don't get in trouble but it does say time magazine on the front there but either way these are really awesome you can have him holding a stack of these as well so I'm totally in love with these little accessories accessories out here. Really awesome, really nice and real world, and I love that. Now, in terms of the glasses that he does come with, you saw these in the unboxing, but he does come with a gold pair of glasses, and he does come with a silver pair of glasses. They aren't full sort of glasses with the little arms on there. These do slot into the side of his head, and I'll show you that when I get the figure himself out here. Now, the final sort of piece he does come with is his swap out uh, little jumper. It's a really nice piece. It's made of a really thin fabric, so I think it'll lay really nicely on the body. Now, in terms of the hands, these hands are totally awesome. They've got a really nice sort of old man veining and speckling and texturing throughout. I would have expected from a third party company that I personally have never heard of to not get this level of quality. But no, they killed it. This, in my opinion, rivals some earlier stuff by Hot Toys. Don't get me wrong, nowadays Hot Toys absolutely kills it. This would look even more HD than it does here. But back when their Stanley came out, I'd say this would almost rival the quality of that in terms of the veining and wrinkling and paintwork. These look absolutely awesome. And of course, he does come with the two Thwip hands, which look really, really cool. Either way, what we're going to do now is get Stan Lee himself out here and take a closer look. And here we have Stan Lee himself, and he looks absolutely fantastic. Now, there was one thing that I didn't obviously mention in the accessories, and that's a display base. Unfortunately, he doesn't come with a display base of any kind. He doesn't come with the chair, the director's chair. That would have been really awesome. And that's a little bit unfortunate. I would have really liked this to, as I said in the intro, be the complete 100% definitive version of Stan Lee. But the fact that he's missing those two things kind of leaves a sour taste in my mouth. I mean, this is still a really, really good figure. And don't worry, we're going to zoom in in just a second and take a closer look at all the details. But a display base and even that chair would have set this thing over the top, in my opinion. It would have been hands down the best version of Stanley. It's still a really, really good figure. But in my opinion, those two things definitely are missed in terms of an overall package. Either way, what we're going to do now is punch in and take a closer look at the details. And here we have the Wu Toy Stan Lee up close and personal. I do think this figure is a really, really nice looking piece. Now, unfortunately, this is just a recast from Hot Toys. And I say unfortunately because it's just a little bit cheeky. Now, I know it looks really good and I don't think they could have really done better than what Hot Toys already did. But still, it's cheeky and I don't really know how I feel about it. I'm going to give him a pass this time because it's a figure that I know a lot of people do want. But hopefully, 
hopefully next time they bring out their own sort of sculpt for whichever figure they do next. Now in terms of the sculpt itself, as you can see, the skin tones look a lot more natural on the new Astronaut Hot Toys Stan Lee, in my opinion. It's a lot more leaning into the cooler shades, and the skin definitely looks a lot more realistic. You can tell, though, it's definitely the exact same sculpt. Maybe with a few sort of different touches here and there, but still, I really do like the Woo Toys version, but still, the Hot Toys sculpt is just far and away so much more superior. Now, taking a look at the outfit itself, I really do like the fabric they've used for the jacket. It's a really nice sort of suede material. It drapes really nicely. It sits on the figure really nicely. I think that they've tailored the outfit for this body in mind, which is really good. A lot of companies definitely don't do that. Now, in terms of the actual jumper itself, this is pretty much exactly how the blue jumper is going to look. I'm not going to switch it out. I don't want to mess up this entire outfit, but if you did switch it out for the blue jumper, but it would look pretty much exactly like that. I think you want to stick with the green. It adds a nice pop of color on the shelf. I do like that the collar sits really nicely. A lot of third party figures, you do have to mess around with the outfit. This guy was totally perfect right out of the box. I didn't have to do any futzing at all and it looked really good. You can see the jacket sits really nicely across the shoulders as well. It's a really nicely tailored outfit for a really well done figure. Now I've turned the lights down just a little bit so you can see the really vibrant white shoes. They're a really nice high gloss. Unfortunately, the laces aren't real laces, but that's totally fine. I'll give them a pass on that. The rest of the outfit does look really good. The pants have a really nice sort of feel to them. They do have a really thin weave, so they do drape very nicely and they sit just about right on the shoes themselves. So it's a really nice tailored outfit for this Stanley figure. I'm very impressed with what Wu Toys have done here, right down to, again, that detail on those hands is absolutely insane. It's a very well put together piece, a very fitting homage to Stan Lee and a very good send off for the man himself. It's a really nice, well done, well tailored, well sculpted and painted piece overall. Just wrapping up on this Wu Toys Stan Lee, I'm actually really impressed with what Wu Toys have managed to do here. They've taken the head sculpt from the Hot Toys figure and put together a really nice, intricate, well designed package and a really nice homage to Stan himself. It's a really nice send off for the character. I really I like all the details in terms of the actual wrinkles, paintwork, everything like that. I know the head sculpt is borrowed from Hot Toys. That's really naughty. They shouldn't have done that. They should have done their own head sculpt. But like I said when we were taking a look at it, it's a really good sculpt, so I can't really hate on it too much. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people who won't be buying this figure just out of principle. This man has obviously passed away, and Wu Toys is obviously profiting off it. I mean, that's again a little bit naughty, but I mean, Hot Toys made the figure as well. They just released their Stanley, so you can't really be too mad about it about it. Now I know this figure does look really really good and there are a couple of omissions but I still think that it's absolutely worth it. Now those two things, the director's chair and a display base would have been totally awesome. That would have made this hands down unequivocally the best Stanley figure that has been put out in my opinion. It still is the best figure in my opinion in terms of the looks, in terms of the accessories. It just should have come with those two additional pieces and that would have set it completely over the top. Either way, this figure is in stock right now with Philip Liu from Toys Wonderland HK. And the link for that is down in the description below. If you'd like to pick up your very own Wu Toys Stan Lee, also check out any of the Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home pre-orders. Check out Six Scale Network, the brand new awesome Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection. Also check out the brand new second channel that uh, Stephanie, Miss Collection and I have started called Justin and Steph. It's basically a way to catch up outside of the channel, behind the light box as she put it. Check out what we're doing vlogs, toy hunts, etc. Link for that down in the description below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.